Cambodia and Laos are in the midst of an unprecedented land-grabbing crisis. An area half the size of Ireland has been leased out to companies across the two countries, pushing hundreds of thousands of people deeper into poverty. <laughs> A third of this land has been taken to meet rising global demand for rubber. Vietnam's rubber barons have run out of space and have now turned to their poorer neighbours to strike secret land deals with corrupt officials. And they've done it all with the backing of major Western banks and financial institutions. Global Witness has spent the last year investigating two of Vietnam's largest rubber companies, Huang An GLI, known as Hegel, and the state-owned Vietnam Rubber Group, or VRG. In Cambodia and Laos, both companies' activities have had a devastating impact on the surrounding landscape and indigenous communities. Satellite imagery proves that both VRG and Hegel member companies have been illegally clearing large areas of intact forest. This destruction threatens to wipe out indigenous people's way of life. And the companies have dealt harshly with communities surrounding their plantations. <coughs> But how are these companies able to get away with blatantly ignoring the law? Global Witness investigations have unearthed an intricate web of subsidiary companies and hidden relationships with corrupt officials that appear to have enabled Hegel and VRG to bypass social and environmental regulations. But it's not just Southeast Asian companies involved. Financial support and a veneer of legitimacy have come from Deutsche Bank, which has multi-million dollar investments in both VRG and Hegel. The International Finance Corporation, the investment arm of the World Bank, is also financing Hegel through a private equity fund. This investment goes against its sustainability policies, as well as the bank's core mandate to end global poverty. <laughs> The type of devastation caused by VRG and Hegel and the bank standing behind them is becoming all too common. It's vital that those driving the current land grabbing crisis in countries like Laos and Cambodia are prosecuted. Governments around the world must come together to create and enforce regulations that make all future investments open and fair for the millions of people that rely on land and forests for their survival.